the promised land. The 76ers have committed more than $2 million a year to Moses. And what does a $2 million a year man want? A couple of buckets, some privacy, and some understanding. A lot of people got me misunderstood. I really one of the down, down to earth people that you, you that everybody would love to meet. Uh, I'm straightforward. I'll be true to people. I don't let them know how I feel. I like to be by myself and be a private person and uh, do what I uh, think is best for me. He was a street kid who played street ball on this playground in Petersburg, Virginia. It didn't take him long to figure out it was what he did best leading his high school team to 50 consecutive victories and two state championships before deciding amidst a wave of controversy to skip college and go pro. His first paychecks came from the ABA, where many were frankly surprised he was able to hold his own. He was only a youngster. And then onto the NBA, where he honed his skills to become one of the most dominant big men on a team he felt at home with, the Houston Rockets. I really want to play in Houston. I really want to be in Houston. Uh, they've been saying for the last two years, what, whatever, whatever offer sheet Moses get, we're going to Masters, and he's going to be here. So I went and got him off the sheet and, and, and gave him their bluff. When they got the off sheet, they bluffed. They went back. They went back door on me. So I couldn't play with Houston. My second choice was Philadelphia. This season, Moses and Philadelphia began a brotherly love affair. And there it was, that first check for a million dollars. The Sixers' investment paid off. Moses led Philadelphia to yet another Eastern Conference title. But off the court, he still had some problems with some of the press, who he claimed wouldn't accept him, the real Moses. Why can't Moses alone be himself? Why should I worry about what people think about me? If people want to write something about me bad or good, I got to take it. I figure I'm going to live, and I'm, I'm going to be happy. So I figure I let people come try to control my life and tell me what to do. I'm not going to be happy. Apparently, what makes Moses very happy these days is spending time with his wife, Alfreda, and playing with his son, Little Mo. Little Mo brings out Big Mo's childhood in him. He um, also has an extended family, which includes Special Olympic athletes. He enjoys helping others. I, I fear from my heart that I'm doing it because I want to do it. I ain't doing it because nobody else wants me to do it. And when I do it, I don't want nothing to return. I just, uh, this is going to help people out. I just want to make the people happy. And right now, nothing would make Moses happier than winning the championship and taking home his first NBA ring. It's going to feel great. I'm going to be a side 12 and a half. I'm going to put on this finger right here. Yeah. It's going to feel great for the team, for the coach, for the city, for the city of Philadelphia.